this problem we have partially miscible liquids and we start out with a system so one mole of a liquid mixture is heated at constant pressure until 0 0.05 moles of vapor present so so we start out total one mole and we end up vapor is 0 0.05 moles and liquid mixture so we're along this dashed line 0 0.75 and the whole diagram is a constant pressure so we start here for example and this point corresponds to this composition in one liquid phase in equilibrium with this other liquid phase and as we increase the temperature we get to this point so at this point we have liquid one with mole fraction of component B equal to about 0 0.27 and we have liquid 2 with a mole fraction of about 0 0.83 and now once we get to this temperature we start getting evaporation until all of liquid 1 disappears the vapor that's in equilibrium with the two liquids has a mole fraction of B equal to 0 0.6. So now we need to determine the amounts of these phases. We've determined the composition, so I might call this XB in phase 1 and in phase 2. And then YB is in the vapor and there's only one vapor phase. So I can do a mass balance on component B and essentially I'm saying the number of moles of B in liquid 1 so that's the mole fraction of B in liquid 1 times the amount of liquid 1 plus the number of moles of B in liquid 2 mole fraction B in liquid 2 times the amount plus the number of moles of B in the vapor phase which is mole fraction times the number of moles and for a basis of one mole, this should add up to 0.75, right? That's our initial and our overall mole fraction of B. So we have these numbers that we read. The mole fraction here is 0.27. The amount of liquid 1, we don't know. This mole fraction is 0.83. This mole fraction is 0.6. And we do know we're given this. Well, the other thing we have to do to solve this is to say 0 0.27 liquid 1 plus 0 0.83. The amount of liquid 2, so liquid 1 plus liquid 2 must add up to 0.95 moles because 0.05 moles is vapor. And 6 tenths of 0.05 is 0.03. And we can solve this algebraic equation for liquid 1. Liquid 1 is 0 0.13 moles. Liquid 2, 0 0.82 moles. And the composition in liquid 1, 0 0.27 mole fraction of B. And in liquid 2, the mole fraction 0 0.83. And then, of course, we have vapor as given in the problem statement and its mole fraction is 0 0.6.